Okay, boys and girls, I would like to do a quick uh, tutorial on paint. In the beginning of the year, we started uh, pretty much every grade level started with a, just a simple paint um, where I did a beach scene. And I know that a lot of kids uh, want to recreate that and uh, still practice doing it, but sometimes they struggle with certain things. So uh, one of the easiest ways, you know, if you don't have it saved as an icon is uh, you just type in the search uh, as soon as you really type in P, uh, that's enough for it to find the uh, paint program, and uh, that's just an easy way to open it. But I think most of you know how to open it. That should not be a problem. And, oops, sorry. Okay, so here we are in the paint program, and um, a couple of uh, struggles that we have. Uh, one thing is, down here in the bottom right corner, you notice it says 100%, and it has a minus and a plus sign. So if I go down to 50%, what you see here is uh, this is your paper space. This is like your sheet of paper, and then over here would be like your table or your desk that you're drawing on, right? So you can draw on the paper, but you can't draw on the, the desk. And so what sometimes happens is when you go to 100%, when you go to draw your line, let's just pick a line. I'm just going to take a line. I'm just going to draw it across here like we would do for a horizon, and we do it in a different color. But here I go, and I draw it to here, and I... Um, stop and then when I want to put my paint bucket with the sky here then the whole thing turns blue and this is the problem that commonly a lot of people have. I'm going to undo that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to 50% and show you why that's doing that. Okay what's happening is when I paint here the paint just goes around this space here you see. So one of the first things you want to make sure if you're going to be doing that is to size this down. If I'm at 50% like I am now, I'm going to make it about this big on my screen. Then I'm going to go back to 100%, and then I'm going to kind of get it to where I want to see that desk or table we talked about on the edge of the, the right side and the bottom. Now I can see my entire piece of paper, okay? So that's the first thing you got to make sure you do. Now when I do this line uh, for the horizon, I want to make sure that my pointer goes from, from a pointer like it is now to that crosshair. As soon as it goes there, right there, I'm going to make this line across. I'm going to try to make it straight as a level, a pl uh, hor it's horizontal as much as possible. And uh, then I'm going to let it go right there, okay? Now, you still have the ability to, 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 to move this line, but if you're happy with it, then just click anywhere else and it's, it's over there. And then when you hit the bucket, I like this color for the sky. These are your basic colors. And now, see, it, doesn't, it didn't leak through, which is good. Now, to continue with the beach scene that we were doing, I like to use the crayon. I like to make sure it's the thickest crayon I could possibly have, which is here. And then I like this uh, light yellow. It, makes a nice sand color and then I don't like a straight line on the sand because the beach is not usually straight and even it's usually a little bit um, you know uneven maybe hilly or whatever and then you can just color all that in like so and uh, I've lost my point here. there we go the screens a little bit of an angle so something like that and then what I did was I picked the paint bucket with a darker color blue what I would call ocean color blue and then it kind of goes like that. And then from there, you can go back to your crayon, back to your crayon color. And you could, uh, you know, if you want to make this a little bit straighter across here, however you want to do it. But uh, like I said, I wouldn't make it a straight line because I don't think that's a natural looking beach to be straight. The horizon is always straight because uh, that's just how that works. But the beach is usually not. So something like that. All right. Now, uh, what we did was we put a, I put a uh, palm tree in, so I just grabbed a brown color. I did make the size a little bit smaller on the crayon, and then I just kind of made a kind of a branchy, curvy-looking uh, kind of stick or whatever you want to call it, wavy line. It doesn't have to be perfect, uh, just to kind of show you that it's a, a tree. And then I picked some green, and then I think I went a little bit smaller. You can play around. It's just it's a, it's up to your preference. And then I kind of made some leaves coming off to resemble a, a palm tree and you don't have to be like I said you don't have to be real perfect it's it's gonna look like a palm tree if you just get the basics in there it may not look like a, a professional artwork but it's gonna look pretty good and you did it yourself so it's kinda cool um, so something like that I mean anyone would know that's a palm tree it may not be the prettiest palm tree but it is a palm tree 
And then I went to the black color and I just put a kind of a, a straight line going down like this. And I went to the thinnest. And what I did was I tried to keep this all up into the in the sky color. And, I'll, and, and then I can just make an umbrella and then I kind of made a couple of lines coming down like this. This is this is what I did in the beginning of the year, just to kind of go back over it. And then I, I usually just picked, a, let's see, I picked orange and yellow and I think purple. I, I think those, are, or maybe it was red, yellow, and purple. Let's try that. Red, uh, yellow, and uh, purple. Yeah, I think maybe that's what I did. Um, and then, of course, the sun. And so I'm going to pick a, a circle here. And on this one, I want to make sure that I have a yellow and a, the fill is going to be a solid color. And that's going to be color two, which I got to click here and go to yellow. So color one and two are yellow. My fill is on solid color. And now I'll get that filled in uh, shape of a circle. And if you don't get it perfect, you know, you, 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 can, you can mess around with it. Of course, you don't want a sun looking like that. You want it to resemble something round uh, out there, maybe about like that, you know, whatever looks good to you. And then I went in here and I got a... I think I like the oil uh, brush, which is this one, and a thin, thinnest you can go line, and then white, and then I just, uh, I just kind of a couple little, uh, just to look like some waves in the water, you know. And you can do this however you want, um, just to give it a little bit of a realistic look, right? We'd have waves at the beach, something like that. Um, and then I, th oh, I think I did put some seagulls in. So that's just kind of like a V looking shape like this. And you can just kind of draw them randomly uh, there. Okay. And now remember, boys and girls, if you're doing this and you do something that you're not real happy with, maybe even you make a mistake. Like I accidentally draw a line through my son. Oopsie, right? Just go back here and hit undo. It's not, not the end of the world. Nothing's, nothing's a big deal there. And there you go. I think I did try to put a chair in here on a few of these, but I didn't really like the way that came out. Um, of course, you can add whatever you want, but that's that's the basics of the uh, beach scene, okay? And uh, keep playing around with it, and remember, just become an expert at it. Keep playing around with it. You'll get really good at it. And uh, now with the Windows 10, you, you'll have Paint 3D, which is have a few more features. We'll talk about those. Oops. And um, so keep working at it, and thank you for watching.